Hello everyone, um, so today I'm doing a big declutter of our bathroom, um, like hair care, skin care, that kind of thing. Uh, that's me just going through the cupboard showing the before. Again, like another mess, these are all before clips. Um, that shelf's really messy as well. There's definitely some things I can get rid of. Um, there's our other cupboard, um, that was like super messy and unorganised as well. Uh, I just really needed to do this, I just have too much stuff and I really need to sort through it all. So here I am just emptying out this cupboard, as you can see it was a bit of a mess, uh, really unorganised, I just kind of threw everything in there and I just want it to be sorted out to be honest. I'm sure you can probably hear the floorboards creak quite a lot, um, so I have to apologise for that and I also want to apologise in this video because the lighting is pretty bad this little section is not too bad but it's a very long and narrow bathroom and the window is right by the door which is where I'm filming right now there's no other windows in the back of the bathroom where the other cupboard and stuff is so but yeah so it took like longer than I thought to empty out this cupboard that's why I sped it up so much but yeah this is just all the stuff on the floor it's just a huge mess I really need to sort it out um I'm just going to go through each product um, I'm not going to spend ages on each product, but I'll try and, you know, go through and explain my process. But yeah, I noticed when I was going through all the stuff, we just have so many bars of soap. I don't know what it is. I really need to stop buying bars of soap, I guess. Uh, these are cocoa butter. I think we've got an unopened one and an opened one. Uh, we use that a lot for our tattoos, but it's also just a really good moisturiser. Also, we have about like five or six bottles of Baby Bio. I really don't know why, or I do know why, my partner has a problem, but it's not my problem. Um, and the reason we store in the bathroom is just, I don't know, I don't know the reason. Like, we don't have a traditional house set up, we only have um, our bedroom, the bathroom, and then the spare room. Um, which is kind of like a makeshift kitchen-y thing, living room. So that kind of utility stuff sometimes ends up in the bathroom. This is a deodorant that was my mum's, um, I've kept it, I don't use it, I just like to smell it sometimes, I know that sounds really weird, but I'm sure if you've lost anyone, um, you would understand that smells can really bring you back. Uh, these are some shower gel products, I will say in this video I didn't actually get rid of maybe as much as you're hoping while watching this, but that is because I realised a lot of this stuff is like backups, also I'm apologising for my nails because... I took some nail polish off and it stained my fingernails and they look horrible in this video. But yeah, I realised that hand gel is like very expired. That's why I spent so long looking at that. Some more plant food and stuff like that. Uh, after sun, I think that's definitely expired. I don't know how long they last for, but we've had it for ages and barely touched it. Um, um, this is like a spray for the toilet. Uh, also, I got quite a lot of those uh, toilet blocks. And I am looking for a second opinion. I actually read that they're not very good for your toilet. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, apparently it like damages the pipes and stuff. And I don't really feel like they do anything. They don't really have a scent. They don't really clean. They don't. They just look nice, I suppose. These are like all the sponges. I have some for the bathroom and then some that we use for washing up because we do all the washing up in the bathroom. Because like I said, the spare room is just a bedroom. It doesn't actually have sinks. I love palm olive. Uh what they called shower creams so good they're my favorite these are some vitamins but yeah these are the toilet blocks um i would love to know if that's true like if they do damage to the toilet because obviously i don't want to damage anything um so i've been using them a bit more sporadically okay that's my dog in the background by the way i uh, got some sea salt we use that uh, to treat any wounds for the dog like make saline water sometimes as well and for piercings um, and then I'm just going through all the shampoo and conditioner. We've got uh, quite a lot of backups, but we do definitely go through it. I know that it looks excessive. Um, but yeah, we've really been liking the Naughty brand. I don't. I think that's how you say it. Um, we both have curly hair, and I just think that they're quite good for that kind of hair type. Or at least the ones that we've got are. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to stop buying like a million backups. It just takes up so much space. And as you can see in the background on the left, there's just like a million soap bars. Um, 
just ridiculous some more soap bars because you know like i said we have so many um yeah just i don't know why we have so many i don't even remember buying any i don't think i've ever bought a soap bar i think some were here before i even moved in so that's how long they've been here um yeah they were literally here before i even met my partner so i don't know how long soap bars I was going to say live for, but I don't think that's the right word. I don't know how long they last before they are expired. Uh, these are little, like, what are they called? Like, flossing things. They're not mine, they're my partner's, so um, I don't think he's going to use them. We've had them a long time, but I am definitely going to check with him before I throw them away. Even though they do end up in the declutter pile, I didn't just uh, throw them away without asking. Okay, so I'm giving it a good clean. I'm using my anti-back again. Um, it's actually uh, water with, um, it's not Zaflora, but like one of those, I can't remember the brand, but it's like one of those concentrated um, uh, disinfectants that you dilute and they always smell really nice. So it's like a Zaflora type thing. Um, and it's in a spray bottle. Um, and I just find it's more cost effective to do that because uh, you get... I don't know what it is, like 20 litres or something out of one of those little tiny bottles. It's just, I just think it's better. And I think it looks nicer. But yeah, this is me putting some stuff back. Um, I realised I didn't go through that box on camera, but it's just um, shampoo bars and extra razors and stuff. Like it's nothing that won't eventually be used up. But yeah, keep the soap bars. I did actually get rid of a couple just because we're obviously not going through them, um, you know. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm just putting it all back in this corner. Um, yeah, this is just me like playing around trying to make it all fit. Um, those are backups of vitamins that we take. That is an unopened box, but we've got a box uh, in the bedroom that we're still using. Putting uh, my mum's deodorant in the back because I don't really use it. It's just like a once in a blue moon kind of thing. They're my uh, partner's backup um, shower gels. These are my backup shower gels really annoying thing about this cupboard is that the shelves are not really that tall so the only way to fit in really tall bottles is to put them around the sink like if you can see in the video uh so that the top of the bottle can go in the gap uh that there is between the sink and the shelf i don't know if that makes sense but um i think it looks really ugly but you know i don't really have a choice like i can't fit them in unless i lay them down i don't really want to do that but yeah this is me putting the shampoo and conditioner away i was trying to put the conditioner on the left um and then put the shampoo on the right um and as you can see i messed that up and i accidentally put a conditioner on the right but we had loads of conditioner compared to shampoo uh this is me doing like a little before shot and then i'm just taking everything off on camera i did spit it up a little bit just it takes a while but yeah as you can see these shelves were just super uh overcrowded stuff that i have on display i do try and choose things that are like a little bit prettier which i know sounds kind of ridiculous um but i just don't like having loads of visual clutter if i can help it i'd rather stuff be in cupboards but yeah my partner needs to see things in order to remember to use them and i know that a lot of people are like that um and i am a little bit but he's definitely like if i put something of his in the cupboard it doesn't exist for him um, that's why we have like 10 bottles of baby bio and 15 bars of soap because it goes in a cupboard he's like right we don't have any of that I'll go buy some more but yeah so this is me just going through all the stuff that was on the shelves I didn't get rid of too much there were a couple of things that were like nearly empty or like nearly expired um, but I did keep the majority of stuff because it's stuff that I use pretty regularly um, but yeah this is like a body cream that's kind of like it feels like hair gel but it's, it's like body lotion or body jelly um and i've used that up um then this hair gel i absolutely love this hair gel i'm literally so gutted that it's i think it's like discontinued i can't find it anymore but it was really cheap it was so good i'm really like i'm so annoyed i wish i'd bought like some more um these are all my like sanctuary spa bits i really like sanctuary spa i think it's just smell i don't know i just love it like i really like it a lot I've got like a few Loxatan bits, like mostly minis, but I've been keeping them for like a special occasion, which I just think is so stupid. I'm really trying to just use them up. Uh, that's a really good cleanser. I love that cleanser. Um, 
I've also got the moisturiser in the background, but I really don't like that. Um, I've actually got really dry skin, and I found that even for my skin, it just makes my skin really oily, and nothing makes my skin oily. So I don't know what it is, but really not a fan of the ordinary moisturiser. Uh, that, I think I did declutter it, I don't know. There was literally only like a tiny little bit left, and I used it up the day that I filmed this, so it's gone. I can't remember if I put it in the pile or not. Yeah, these are the hair dyes that I'm currently... Not currently using, but like it's the colour that I have at the moment. So obviously I'm keeping them because I'm going to re-dye my hair when my roots come through in a little while. Probably sooner rather than later. Um, also, I do have like a lot of uh, sanitary towels and like women's products in this box. Obviously I'm not ashamed of them. But I'm not going to go through them just because I'm not decluttering any of them. Uh, I've taken them out of the packaging. I'm going to use them up. I'm not like... It's not something you can donate and I wouldn't want to anyway. So yeah, I'm not showing them, not because I'm like embarrassed or anything. I just like, I don't need to go through them. Like they're not something that needs to be gone through. I really like this lip balm actually. It's a lip seal lip balm. Really cute. I always think it's Vaseline because of the colour of the blue. Like I always just assume it's Vaseline, but it's not. It's lip seal. But yeah, I love these storage boxes by the way. I think I got them from like B&M or Home Bargains or something. Uh, these are backup deodorant sticks. Um, really love deodorant sticks. They were a massive game changer for me. I would never go back to spray or roll them. Uh, this is a hair dye that I just pulled out. That um, was when I used to dye my hair black. And obviously I dye my hair ginger now so it's not happening. But yes, yeah, so I just emptied out this cupboard. And I'm just spraying it down with the same spray. Um, and just wiping it out with a cloth that I found earlier I think actually in the other cupboard. <laughs> So this is just what the box looked like that I pulled out of the cupboard just now. Um, bit of a mess. It's mostly just backups in this cupboard. So just pulling stuff out. Um, another bar of soap. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've just got a few things in here. Like if you look, there's like toothpaste backups. This face mask, which I don't know if you can tell, but it is actually nearly empty. And it's probably just really expired. But it's actually my second one. I really like it. Um, but I basically got the same kind of mask for Christmas, so I'm getting rid of that one and replacing it. Uh, some more Loxtan bits. Um, uh, that is like my favourite moisturiser ever. It's so cheap, it's so good, I love it. Uh, this body lotion, it's just like a cheap body lotion. Um, yeah, I've got an electric toothbrush and for some reason I just don't use it i don't know like why also it was such a struggle to get the head of the toothbrush off because i've never replaced the head because i've not used it in ages so i'm finally going to do that and i'm finally going to use it probably maybe i should just use it it's such a waste i'm so stupid i don't know why i don't do that but yeah that's a backup toothbrush uh it's like bamboo it's my partner's backup toothpaste uh this is like a body butter it's such a nice body butter i really should use it it's just like kind of a pain to use because you can't put clothes on immediately after because it's like it will stain them like it's got such a rose goldy glittery color that if you put it on and then put clothes on straight away like it will come off so that's the only reason i don't use it um this is the hair dye that i was talking about yeah i have held on to this for a while but it's like yeah i've just not i've not dyed my hair black in like over a year maybe more these are some more loxtan bits um it looks so messy i can't believe it but yeah so these are little hand creams as well um it's kind of bit bittersweet really because uh my mum was the one that always used to buy like little lox tan bits for me and i suppose i just like oh, i just kind of feel bad using them like knowing eventually that they're gonna be gone but i just that's stupid like i mean i just you know i don't want to waste them um some cotton rounds everyone needs cotton rounds a bunch of razors um i'm trying to use up my disposable razors because we've actually got a really nice reusable razor with uh, like lots of different replacement heads or whatever um but yeah i just have so many sheet masks i never buy sheet masks but i do get them as gifts quite a lot uh, which is great i really like them but um yeah i just always get to use them like i do try and use a couple but it's like I feel like I use a couple a year, but I would gain like 10. <laughs> so I need to make more of an effort. I'm trying to do this thing where it's like every time I have a bath, I use a some kind of sheet mask or face mask. Um, which sounds great, but I don't have a bath that often. <laughs> um, 
because uh like there's like problems with the hot water and stuff so yeah I don't have a bath very often um so it's like yeah it's a real it's a real treat it's a real big deal if we get to have a bath and a face mask at the same time that's why they're that's why they're going down so slowly because I'm just not having enough baths <laughs> um yes yeah, so that's me just popping that back um I also put the one underneath back I'm sliding the hair dye in this little gap as well um but yeah uh oh yeah um you didn't see this but that's just my little tub of sun cream and I just because I had the space I thought I'd pop that in there as well um those shells were absolutely filthy um and yeah I feel like the lighting's really bad in this bit it doesn't actually look as bad as I thought it did um I'm trying to lighten it a little bit in the editor I don't know if it looks any good to be honest um but yeah so I'm just wiping down the shelves they were so disgusting um that cloth looked so much darker than it does on the video like it was so gross I don't know why they're so dirty um but yeah this is me just popping my partner's stuff back um he's just got like his little bulldog section up there I think it's so cute um and then he's got like beard oil beard balm like sh shaving stuff and like some skincare bits as well um, and then the, this is me just putting this little glass thing back. I don't really know what to do with it. I just kept it because it was pretty. But it's like I really am struggling to find a use for it. I might get rid of it in the future. But for right now I'm just putting it there on the shelf. Um, here's me putting the Sanctuary Spa stuff back. I realise it looks like I've not got rid of a lot. And that's kind of true. But I've also tried to put stuff out that I know that I'm going to use. So like that body butter. I'm going to try and make an effort to use it. Um, and it's like there's like some conditioner and hair bits that I'm going to try and make an effort to use. Then I'm putting this back. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of impractical. It's just got cotton rounds and uh, like what are they even called? Like earbuds? Q-tips? Uh, here's me like just adjusting stuff. But yeah, that little cork thing. The glass is so fragile. I'm terrified of breaking it every time I pick it up. It's horrible. <laughs> but yeah, this is me just doing like a flat lay of everything that I am getting rid of. Um, I realised that as I was doing it, I was worried that I wasn't getting rid of enough. That deodorant lid is broken, by the way. It's so annoying because there's quite a lot left, but I just can't get any more out. So annoying. But yeah, anyway, um, this is just like the bunch of random stuff that I'm getting rid of. Um, a lot of it is going to go in the bin, like the recycling. Oh, I used up that um, oh, shower cream. Don't know why I'm just forgetting my words today. I used up that shower cream. Um, so that's actually a used up one. It's not the backup that you saw earlier. Body lotions used up, but yeah, there's like uh, some skincare bits. It's just like random stuff, but yeah. So this is me doing like a little after shot of the shelf, um, and then like a little after shot of the bit that's on top of the other cupboard. Um, in there, it's like nice and neat. Realised as I was doing this, I can't actually pull that out because I put the hair dye there, so I might actually have to move that. Like I feel like such an idiot. I can't believe I did that. Anyway, it's happened now. <laughs> um. And then this is me going back to the other cupboard. Um, but yeah, so these are all like the backups. Um, I realise it doesn't look that dramatically different, but it's nice and organised now. Like I know where everything is. It's nice and organised. You can see everything. It's not like a massive clutter. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like the video.